Welcome to my podcast. Today, I will be talking about the worst trades by the Colorado Avalanche in the 21st century. I will be breaking these trades down by GM. GM Pierre Lacroix, trading Chris Drury and Stefan Yell to the Calgary Flames for Dean McCammon, Derek Morris, and Jeff Shantz was a bad trade. Dean McCammon only toy- played 41 games for the Avalanche before going back to the Flames. Derek Morris only played less than two seasons with the Avalanche before going to the Coyotes, and Jeff Shantz went on to play in Europe. Stefan Yell played five seasons with the Flames and was a solid fourth-line center for them. Chris Drury only spent one season with the Flames, but he went on to have a tremendous career with the Sabres and Rangers. Trading Stefan Reinkret and Stephen Reinkret, sorry, and Rhett Warner to the Buffalo Sabres for Keith Ballard wasn't a good trade at all. Keith Ballard never played for the Avalanche, and Stephen Reinkret went on to have a couple solid seasons with the Coyotes and Panthers. Brett Warner was a sixth or seventh defenseman for the Flames for four seasons. GM Francois Jaguer trading Alex Tangay to the Calgary Flames for Jordan Leopold, a second round pick in 2006, Cody Berkey, and a conditional pick in 2007, Trevor Can, was a terrible trade. Jordan Leopold only played two seasons for the Avalanche. Neither Cody Berkey nor Trevor Can made it to the NHL. Alex Tangay went on to have several great seasons with the Calgary Flames before eventually re-signing as a free agent with the Avalanche in 2013. Trading a first-round pick in 2008, Lucas Sabisa, and a 2009 fourth-round pick, David Savard, to the Columbus Blue Jackets for Adam Foote was not a smart move at all. Adam Foote was a shell of the player he was in the second stint with the Avalanche. Lucas Sabisa didn't do anything for the Blue Jackets, but David Savard is turning into a great defenseman for the Blue Jackets right now. Trading Johnny Boychuk to the Boston Bruins for Matt Hendricks is just a terrible trade. Matt Hendricks was a fourth-line center for the Avalanche, whereas Johnny Boychuk turned into a top-four defenseman for the Bruins, but he's now playing as a top-four defenseman for the Islanders. GM Greg Sherman trading Ryan Smith to the Los Angeles Kings for Tom Pricing. Kyle Quincy and a fifth round pick in 2010, Luke Walker, was a bad trade. Tom Pricing only played a little more than one season with the Avalanche. Kyle Quincy was a top six defenseman at best. Luke Walker never made it to the NHL. Ryan Smith had a few good seasons with the Los Angeles Kings. Plain and simple, the Avalanche just didn't get enough for Ryan Smith. Trading the 47th pick in the 2010 draft, Tyler Toffoli, to the Los Angeles Kings for the 49th pick in the 2010 draft, Calvin Pickard, and the fourth round pick in 2010, Alex Thoreau, was a good trade in hindsight. Calvin Pickard is still young, but at the same time, he has yet to establish himself as a starting goalie in the NHL. Alex Thoreau, hasn't made it to the NHL yet. Whereas Tyler Toffoli has turned into one of the better all-around wingers in the league. Trading Craig Anderson to the Ottawa Senators for Brian Elliott was a horrible trade because Brian Elliott turned into a rental and he went on to play with St. Louis and now Calgary. Craig Anderson has now flourished into a number one goalie with the Senators. Trading Kevin Shattenkirk, Chris Stewart to the St. Louis Blues for Eric Johnson, Jade McClemon, and the 2011 first round pick, Duncan Siemens, was a terrible trade. I'm not sure what Colorado was thinking when making this trade. How is Eric Johnson an upgrade over Kevin Shattenkirk? On top of that, you're also giving up Chris Stewart. 
who was a 30 goal scorer in Colorado. Jay McClement was a fourth line center, and Dr. Siemens haven't lived up to the expectations yet. Perhaps when Colorado was making this trade, they thought they were getting a true number one defenseman in Eric Johnson, but Eric Johnson just isn't a true number one defenseman. Trading a first round pick in 2012, Philip Fortbrook, and a 2012 second round pick, which eventually got traded to the Washington Capitals for Simeon Balamov, was a bad trade. Simeon Balamov showed signs of promise, but it's pretty clear that he's not their number one goalie anymore. Philip Forsberg is already a star player in the league, and he's only 22. GM Joe Sackett. Trading Ryan O'Reilly, Jamie McGinn to the Buffalo Sabres for Nikita Zadorov, JT Comfer, Mikhail Grigorenko, and a 2015 second round pick, which eventually got traded, was a real bad trade. Plain and simple, they just did not get enough for Ryan O'Reilly. Nikita Zadorov may turn into a real solid top four defenseman, but he's not a top pair defenseman, which is what the Avalanche were looking for in this trade. JT Comfort is a solid two weight forward. And Mikhail Gregorenko is a French top six forward. Ryan O'Reilly is a first line center. And they also threw in Jamie McGinn, who is a solid third line player. The, this is a real terrible trade. And the Avalanche are now feeling the effects of how bad this trade really is. So these are the worst trades that Avalanche made in the 21st century. And this will wrap it up for this podcast. Uh, next, I'll be talking about the worst trades by the Edmonton Oilers in the 21st century.